The eastern red bats are North America's most abundant tree bats. They are found wherever there are trees east of Rocky Mountains from Canada to as far as South Central Florida. Red bats almost never enter human habitations. It is rare to find them invading residential homes. They aid in keeping various insect populations, particularly mosquitoes, low, and no one likes mosquitoes. Loss of habitat remains the most widespread peril worldwide. The forests many bats use for roosting or foraging for food are disappearing at a frightful rate, shrunking by timber harvest or cleared to make room for farming crops mining operations, cattle pastures, or even cities. This is especially critical in the tropical rainforest, with both a rich diversity of bat species and precipitous loss of woodlands. Meanwhile, in North America, over 5.7 million of bats have been killed by the white nose syndrome, a wildlife disease that continues its spread across the continent. Caused by a cold loving fungus formerly known as Geomyces destructans. It attacks hibernating bats, causing mortality rates that approach 100% at some sites. Despite tireless scientific efforts of finding a solution, the disease is still killing large numbers of bats. Until the arrival of WNS two endangered species, the Indian myotis and gray myotis were showing promising signs of recovery. Given recent discoveries of red bats hibernating in grass and leaf litter, it is likely that some die as a result of controlled burning in winter, especially in deciduous forests. Red bats have plenty of predators, and we are on that list. Humans have also taken their toll on red bats. There have been documented cases of their bats being impaled by barbed wire and trapped on road surface oil, flying into lighthouses and radiator grills of automobiles. The ways we can prevent population decrease is by providing shelter for the red bats, such as planting trees and creating bat houses in our backyards. We can also avoid burning down so many trees that provide them with homes and camouflage to keep them safe.